Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Sight, and I'm back with another video. Today is going to be a little different. Um, my sister, as you can tell, Brittiana. Nice to meet Hi. her. Welcome, welcome. I will be doing my sister's makeup for today. We're going to have like a little sit down, chit chat, talk, you know, just kind of go with the flow type vibe. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see more of it, stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be using a mixture of my products as well as hers. Um, many of you do know that she is vegan, so a lot of her products are vegan and I'm trying to stay close to that as possible. But a couple things I do want to try on her and yeah. And before we get started, I am not a professional. I'm just, I'm just playing around right now, as you can tell, okay? <laughs> like we're just doing stuff, okay? So yeah, um, yeah, I don't really know. So I guess we're just gonna start. <laughs> we're gonna go in with her foundation. No, I'm just playing. So we're gonna do a primer today. I don't know which one do you wanna use. What kind of skin type do you have? Like these are the two primers that I use normally. Uh, I have like a combination skin type. You wanna I think we should try the Tasha. I know I have another primer somewhere, but I don't remember which one it looked like. Yeah, I'm trying this one. Alrighty guys, so the first product we're gonna go in is the Tatcha, the liquid uh, silk canvas. You guys can kind of see it. And we're gonna use this as a primer. And her face is freshly washed and clean, so you already know. I mean, I could use a brush. She got that vegan skin, so you already know. Oh my God, food. please don't. <laughs> so, or you, yeah, that's what we can probably talk about today. Um, your skincare and things like that, or mm -hmm. maybe, um, what is it called? Like, how do you feel like is it important for your skin? Like, what do you feel like there are necessities? Like, a primer? Yeah, or, well, for me, I can't really speak for everyone, but for me, my skin is like, I don't even want to say my product injury. I just, I don't really do that much to my skin because I've never really had the need to. Like my go-to like skin regimen would be like water <laughs> and that's it. Um, I've, well, with it, recent years have like started to get more into skincare, like using um, the rose water, you know, um, the witch hazel toner. Like those are like pretty much like the primal things for me. I don't think there's anything else like it'll be a good cleanser here and there and exfoliator like every once in a while but i don't try to like use that many products on my skin i'm not like a good skincare or even a makeup junkie like that so mm. you know because for me i think the main thing for me is just focusing on like the diet and like i said using like water simple stuff i don't really use that much i will just, like try different products don't get me wrong and i do like skincare products but it's not like a oh i have to have like all these you know different brands you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah see me like i don't have the best of um obviously skin like little things make me break out and i could definitely mm -hmm. like vouch and say like as far as like what you put in your body is definitely really really important because mm -hmm. like dairy makes me like break out a lot yeah and then like I noticed that with me too, like I said, even though I never really had bad, bad skin, I never really broke out like that. Mm -hmm. But like, especially now that I'm vegan, I can tell which foods break me out. So like, if I have something like uh, and unknowingly and it has like dairy in it and I break out, I usually can tell and like, identify it's because of that, you know? Mm -hmm. Or like, if I eat like some type of chips, cause even chips like um, that may be considered vegan may have like certain oils in it, like, like sunflower, sunflower oil, mm -hmm. sapphire oil, those oils break me out mm -hmm. um, and I noticed that too with like certain chips that I'll eat so yeah see I don't truly that's what I need to get into this year because I've been slacking to be honest with you mm -hmm. that's my goal for the 2021 is just to be more on like the alkaline um, oh yeah side of things you know like I I used to try to focus on that but then it's sort of like you know, life gets in the way and you're like, all right, this is not happening. <laughs> um, but I definitely do want to, especially now that I have my son, like I definitely want to be more on like the um, soy free, gluten free, um, more like the alkaline vegan than anything. Like 
if anything i would say my vegan i mean my that would be more vegan or plant-based i would say that and then like definitely like heavy on the like gluten-free as much as possible but i think i'm trying to like make it to the point where like everything i consume is either like gluten-free soy free you know it's alkaline mm -hmm. Cause you, so yeah, obviously you just had a baby and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I know on your channel, like you're like talking about things like that. And yeah. Um, also, yeah, my sister has a YouTube. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Yes. It's gonna be linked down below. Mm -hmm. Follow her social media as well. Um, Which she'll like add later too. But if you guys wanna follow me, it's my first name, Britiana, and then ADL. So it's B-R-I-T-T-I-A-N-A-A-T-O. That's my Instagram, um, and then that's pretty much really the only social media that I'm on heavy, but if you go to my Instagram, you'll like find my other links to my other social medias. Um, but yeah, I'm dropping or launching my YouTube channel soon, very, very soon. It'll be like a lot of like mom stuff, um, you know, I guess you could say crunchy mom stuff, vegan lifestyle. Um, I am also gonna be doing um, like a food and fashion series um, I'm not gonna like t get too involved into the details of what that will be about because I want it to be like a kind of like a surprise um, and I'm gonna also do like that series on Instagram as well um, and then I'll probably just do some other me exclusive series um, about fashion so just stay tuned for those things as well I know like everybody, especially in this quarantine, um, has been getting pregnant. So like they can use definitely a lot of tips on like, you know, momming and you know, things like no, that. I agree, you know. For me, like I'm the type if uh, you know, like I like to do like my research when it comes to things like Especially like, when it comes the, to your baby. Oh my god, yes. Like there's so many sites, like like I think that I might have taken it to like a whole nother level in terms of like the diapers that I use. Like we definitely still plan to, we haven't just yet do like the cloth diapering, but like I've done my research. The only, we've like figured out how to do it. Um, we're still in the process of like figuring if that's the direction we want to go. But like now we currently are using the disposable diapers that are biodegradable. They're eco-friendly, non-toxic. They're like vegan. <laughs> so it's just like, I'm take, trying to not, be extra but be extra at the same time like you know take it to like a whole nother level especially when it comes to my son i don't play mm -mm. Mm -hmm. so yeah you definitely see like a lot of that on my channel and not even just on my channel but like on my instagram like i do a like a whole highlight whole stories on those um i'll probably be doing some like live soon on that with some other um plant-based moms and a couple other people just talking about like wellness and mindfulness and just like it's like i said just like mom life stuff that's like mom related talking about vaccines talking about um just like parenting during parenting and pregnancy during covid just like different things like that so definitely like check out that when you guys get a chance It feels so weird like having someone else do your makeup then. Yeah. And it's like, even though I see like, what like you're doing, I still really don't know like I'm what, yeah. Yeah, so. So we're gonna be um, mixing her foundations cause one of these are just a little bit too dark. So we're gonna go in with this. This so is the foundation. The Milani. Yes. This is the what? Milani. This, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be like butchering it, but these both are like the Milani. Um, There's a like, vegan brand. Um, I think you can get this, like, definitely you can get this on Amazon. You can get it at Ulta. I think you can get it at Sephora. I know you can definitely get this at Walmart. Um, it's actually reasonably priced, like, $7. So I would say this may be, like, a drugstore brand. I'm not sure. I'm not, like, a makeup artist. So I'm, if it's, like, one of those high-end brands, please forgive me. But, like, according to the price point, it doesn't really give off that, like, high-end makeup brand. But it is, like, a really dope brand, and it's vegan. Um, so I really appreciate that. It's cruelty-free. They have like they have a good variety of different shades, um, but I like so I like to mix mines because I don't have like one um, solid like complexion. <laughs> um, and then I also like for this one, it's like a blue light filter. So like when you um, like on your phone or using technology, it'll like protect your skin 
from like I wouldn't I don't want to say like just like radiation but like basically like that from like radiation and just from like other um, things that would like harm be harmful to your skin when you're using technology just like how you have like the blue light glasses that will protect like your eyes um, this is supposed to protect your skin so I really really like that And then the other one that she's using is the same brand, but it's just a concealer and it's a foundation as well. So I think that kind of helps like with a nice blend. This is what I have to put on my I should play some music. music. Yeah, I don't even care for anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I do. So yeah, as she mentioned before, um, a lot of the products that I like currently own, I still have like, cause I'm not like a ma major makeup artist or like a complete beauty junkie, but I'm exploring and I do like to try different um, products. Um, I don't like to over consume, so I will like use what I have first and then try new products as i go um but i am like learning like as like the year goes as the years go on um more and more about different products i use different sites to check my products and see how toxic they are um so like, even with like my skincare my makeup i'm more I'm more going on the route of like trying to keep them as like you know natural or non-toxic as possible um and i have been like like i said exploring with more a lot more um vegan products so a good variety of the products you see her using today are vegan um and the cool thing about a lot of these products like there's like links um that i can probably send to her to add um in the description below that will like have like full-on lists of like all the vegan brands you know um and a lot of brands are now kind of going in that route so they'll even if they're not a vegan brand they'll like have a list of their vegan products so um i think that definitely helps like the vegan um friendly community i mean the community um where you know yeah i feel like that just did not make any sense <laughs> <laughs> no i got it hopefully they did too okay Do you like this foundation so Yeah, I've only used it a few times. Um, um, I was I used to use the Black Radiance for like the longest because I feel like that was the like perfect um, shade. Now that's not vegan, but that probably would be like the only foundation I feel like I will go back to. I think that's Black Dawn. I'm not, I don't know. I think it was Black Dawn, but it might not be anymore. If it still is, like, you know, just forgive me if it really is, but. So gonna do my research on that again, but that's not like the only um, non-vegan like foundation so far that I'm like, okay, that's my go-to. That's what I'm about to be using because it like matched perfectly. It was like a matte foundation, gave me like full coverage, and it was I like it. Um, I still actually do own it, so that way, like, if I ever run out, like, I'll use it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't even know what the point. Should we do again. cream? Gonna do cream, or you wanna do like the NARS? I'm just like, you decide. Cause no, I have no idea. like I love cream. I'm not a cream type person. I feel okay. like my face, like, mm -mm. we good, we good. That's, that's the decision I want to hear, baby girl. Alrighty, so we're gonna go in with the NARS. <gasps> oh, the milk. Oh, okay, we can do that. Yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna go in with one of these. As you, many of you may or may not know, the milk foundation is vegan, and I, she hasn't tried it yet, so this would be the first time she would be trying it. Um, this one is in Golden Sand, and it is a foundation stick. We could have used this as the foundation, <laughs> y'all. The head's not here today. Um, but I, because I use this as a concealer, is why. Yeah. So let's just swatch. Oh, that's what that would look like on her. And this finish is a slick cream, like, so. 
That is a perfect match, actually. So we can't use that with the concealer. Oh man, I'll do your makeup again tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go in with the um, NARS. Uh, what is this? Concealer. Um, <laughs> and call the medium one custard. I just love a bold under eye. Like that's just so me. Like when it comes to my makeup, like I know you, you like the natural, like mm -hmm. natural, natural feel. But me personally, like I'm more into like the bang, 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 baby, like, I'm here no matter what. Like, even if we're just going to the beach and I'm bang, bang, bang in it, like, oh, at no, least no. I know right after, like, we can go to a Met Gala and I'm still looking good. Yeah, no, and I agree completely to definitely with that whole, like, idea it's of having, like, the, like, that beat kind of look. Mm -hmm. But I am more, like, that natural kind of um, vibe. Like, you know, I like the natural with a little bit of, like, pop you know pop, yeah. yeah a little pizzazz like maybe through the lashes and the highlight and that's about it so that way if i wanted to go to the matte gala i could still do that you know what i mean mm -hmm. but i would prefer to just kind of keep it simple and yeah. i feel like because my skin is like naturally like clear like you know mm -hmm. i don't have to do that much, much. yeah you're right you, know, you don't see me me like i don't really have a perfect well like you know it's getting you better it's but good, like though. yeah it's just not like i don't know it's just a full coverage to me is just like you're doing, you doing it, okay? Yeah. Like you, you, you got it. That's you, baby girl. So I'm gonna go and wet this beauty blender. I was like, is this a dirty beauty blender? It's <laughs> just brown. So that's what I like so But yeah, when it comes to um, products and stuff like that, when you do your um, under eye, do you, you do highlight, right? Yeah. See how seamless that looks? Ugh. I love the wet beauty blender trick. Like, <laughs> it's just gorgeous. Like, it seamlessly just, go ahead and look up. It seamlessly just blends everything in. I guess they call it fungus, like up on this area. The what? They call it fungus. Fungus? Fungus, yeah. <laughs> what is that? The dermatologist said like, it's like little tiny bumps. Like you can't pop it or anything like that. It's just, oh. isn't like. Is that like, that's probably what this is. Well, I had like a little bump that's right here. Do you see? Like small bumps? No, oh. it's not a small bump. It's just like a bump that's just like, you don't, you don't pop it. I see, I don't know what that is. But you asked him about the foundation. Um, I mean the highlight. So yeah, I do use highlight. Concealer, I mean. Oh, I mean. yeah, I do use concealer. So right now, um, and but I do like use this, like the translucent powder mm -hmm. and the setting powder. That's oh. pretty much what I use like on top of my concealer to lighten. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go into my cream contour palette and I'm gonna just dab some of this color right here. And I'm gonna use this to contour her face. Oh my god. So when it comes to let's see if that's dark enough. That's not dark enough. Mm -hmm. That's more but it's still like a Hawaiian look. So we can go a little darker. That's that's better. Okay. So we're gonna go into with this shade actually. And I use this palette because I mean I don't know this has just never failed me thus far really in any of the situation like I know I've said that all the time but like I like a Hawaiian I don't know how to describe it but like a Hawaiian look when it comes to like my um contour look Thank you. 
<laughs> and I've seen a lot of people try this, but like I don't really use it. We can try it. I'm putting it underneath. Underneath. Yeah, I usually do that. Okay, I'll we'll put it back down here. I usually go a little higher from that, and mm -hmm. then just go down. What a nice sleek look. Oh, that bomba. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and set her foundation. And then I've, I don't honestly know how it goes if you put setting powder and then translucent or translucent and then setting powder. But we're just gonna go with the flow, <laughs> okay? If it turns out bad, at least we know for next time, okay? But the um, setting powder that we'll be using is a Pacifica Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Setting Powder. And this is vegan. This is actually one of my sister's um, products. So yeah. Okay, so this is still a wet, damp, not wet, but damp beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and dab it in. Oh wow, that's a lot of product. <laughs> Didn't notice that. Go ahead and look up for me, love. Yeah, we need to blend it in. I haven't even touched you yet. You was over there blinking like. You know I blink crazy. I have like a blinking problem. Like all my photos, all my, um, Pictures and so like I'm doing videos and stuff like they're always like blank. I don't know. I think it's just like a reaction. I don't know. It's just being scared. All my mother is and my sister is in there with the baby, so I'm not ignoring him. Exactly. Oh, this is a beautiful finish, actually. That's a beautiful. I don't think we need translucent powder because <laughs> this is like it says a setting powder, but this is like a really bold like mm -hmm. finish. And so I usually use both, now, but I only do like a little bit of each. So like how you dab in, mm -hmm. I don't need to do all of that. It's like a weird smell. It smells like candy, right? Okay. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, y'all, my sister bear. Bio. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna leave that on to set for right now. And right now we're about to go in with her eyeshadows. We're gonna go in with the Zoeva Caramel Melange Eyeshadow Palette. This is obviously my favorite palette of all time. Like, I love this. It just has the perfect type of neutrals and all that. As you guys can see, 
And so we're just gonna go ahead and use it. We're gonna start off with a fluffy brush. So we're gonna start off with the color um, Start Soft, <laughs> which is this color right here. I guess you guys can kinda, kinda see that. Yeah, this color right here. Alrighty guys, so we already went into the palettes, I mean, the uh, Zoeva Malat Caramel, yeah. <laughs> I can't speak today, y'all. Right now we're gonna go in with the Saharian by Juvia's Place um, in the color, which one you wanna do, Jamila or? Yeah, Jamila. Jamila, we're gonna go in with the color Jamila. And yeah, to get another brush. I wanna see, ooh, this pigment, mm -hmm. Brody. Mm -hmm. That is gorgeous. Oh, I really just trying to catch them. <laughs> save it, save it. No, I don't know. Where's my floors up? <laughs> oh, man. Um, we just left off with the, what is it, Jamila? In the color Jamila. Now we are about to go in and cut her crease. I like to use the NARS. You guys, I feel like a little professional makeup artist. Look. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the color NARS. I should have been zoomed in. Look at me learning new tricks. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go in with this white color from the palette Zoeva. We're just gonna tap that in a little bit and we're just gonna put some white on there. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go in as far as like a bronzer slash like um, blush or whatever. I'm gonna go in with the palette Per Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. See, and then we're gonna go in with this as well as kind of this. We're gonna start off with this though. 